Good morning, your majesties. Happy Saturday. So I want to come up here and give you guys another scary story. And I'm, and I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be uploading, um, starting not next, not next week, but the week after I'm going to be uploading three videos, three times a week for you guys. So you guys have, so you guys have that to look forward to. And I'm going to be uploading all week next week and then the week after i'm only going to be uploading um three times a week so um the today's scary story time is called the babysitter okay so the babysitter story is a scary story based on an urban legend about a teenage girl who was babysitting three children one night when she receives a creepy phone call from a strange man it is known as the babysitter and the man upstairs. A version of this tale appeared in Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Ooh, I read those books. Those books are good. I think you guys should get them. Um, okay. There was a young girl who was in need of a job, was able to find work as a babysitter for a couple who lived in a large house, isolated, old, I'm sorry. There was a young girl who was in need of a job was able to find a job as a babysitter for a couple who lived in a large isolated old house they were going out to see a movie that night and left the teenage babysitter in charge of their three children the babysitter put the children to bed when it got late and then went downstairs to watch some television. She was just getting comfortable when she heard the phone ringing. When she answered it, all she heard was heavy breathing, followed by a man's voice asking, asking, have you checked on the children? Freaked out, she hung up the phone, trying to convince, trying to convince herself that it was just someone playing a practical joke on her. She went back to watch television, but about 15 minutes later, the phone rang again. She picked up the she picked up the receiver and heard hysterical laughter from the other side, from the other end of the line. The same voice asked, "Why haven't you checked on the children?" The babysitter slammed the phone, slammed down the phone. The poor girl was frightened out of her wits and immediately called the police. The police operator at the police station told the babysitter that if the man called again, she should she should try to keep him talking. That would give the police time to trace the call. A few minutes later, the phone rang a third time. And when the babysitter answered it, she heard the heavy breathing again. The voice said, the voice on the line said, you should really check on the children. The babysitter listening to him laughing hysterically for a long time. She hung up the phone again and almost immediately it rang again. The This time it was the operator from the police station who yelled, get out of the house right now. The calls are coming from from the upstairs phone. The babysitter dropped the phone in shock and suddenly she heard heavy footsteps walking down the stairs. Without pausing for a second, she ran out of the house as fast as her legs would carry her. Just as she closed the front door behind her, a man's hand slammed against the glass. She screamed and ran out into the street just as a police car was pulling up outside. The police searched the house and found the two children upstairs hiding in the closet, crying uncontrollably. Oh, why would you leave the kids upstairs? I would have gone upstairs and grabbed the kids. Oh, my God. Um, in the parents' bedroom, they found a bloody axe lying on the floor next to the upstairs phone. The back window was wide open and the curtains were blowing in the breeze. There was no sign of the madman who had made the phone calls. He had escaped into the night when the police arrived 
and managed to interrupt his horrible plan to kill the two children and the poor babysitter. Oh, man. Well, at least he didn't hurt the kids. Wow. Yeah, what would you guys have done? I definitely would have... Um, I would have quickly ran upstairs and grabbed the kids and just went outside. Oh my gosh. Um, but what would you guys have done? Um, anywho, that's going to be it for today's video. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Princess Peyton. Hit the red button to become your majesty and hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a video. And I love you guys so much. You guys are the best human beings ever made. And you're the king of my heart and the song lyrics of Taylor Swift. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye. Mwah.